Are there any questions? The Abbott, uh, Tony, Tony Abbott, the, uh, obviously the um, Jones affair is still kicking around. The government trying to uh, link you to mm. his comments and Nicola Roxon uh, as of uh, yesterday saying you should wear some of the blame. What would you say to that? Look, uh, the government blames me for everything. Um, someone gets a flat tyre on the way to work. Well, that's Tony Abbott's fault. Uh, if the uh, government misses out on the UN Security Council vote, uh, we can be confident that that's Tony Abbott's fault. But I do want to make it clear that as far as I'm concerned, as far as my coalition colleagues are concerned, what Alan Jones said was wrong, unacceptable, offensive. Uh, he's admitted that. Uh, he's apologised. He's tried to make that apology personal to the Prime Minister. And uh, look, uh, I just think it's very important that we conduct our political debate in civil language. And that's my resolve, and it should be the resolve of everyone else. Labor's maintaining the attack on uh, Jones. In fact, uh, Mike Kelly this morning made, made a tweet uh, about his homosexuality. Is that, is that appropriate? Has he reached, do you think, the Labor's, Labor's rules and should apologise? I don't think we should be casting personal slurs on people and I think that as far as is humanly possible we should conduct our political debate in civil language and where people go over the top I think they should be prepared to apologise. Look I'm not in the business of uh, ignoring a big audience. I'm the leader of the opposition. My job every day is to reach out to the people of Australia and to reassure them that we are a great country and a great people let down at the moment by a bad government. So uh, I'm certainly not going to ignore an audience of a half a million people in Sydney. Um, I never have and I never will. Should you like to pick up the and accept your apology? That's a matter for her. Greg Conway has described uh, your comments about Alan Jones as totally inadequate. What do you have to say to that, Tony? Look, uh, I... Uh, picked up the paper on Sunday morning like everyone else did. Uh, I was uh, shocked and dismayed and I made that pretty clear. Uh, I made that pretty clear that he was completely out of line and uh, it's good that he's seen that himself and apologised. That's a matter for party organisers. Uh, we've never been a Stalinist party. Uh, we've never been involved in the business of uh, suppressing free speech and look uh, it's entirely up to party organizers who they invite uh, i think that as far as is humanly possible we should try to conduct our political debates in a civil way now um, i sometimes regret the deeply personal tone that creeps into some of our political debate as far as is humanly possible. I've tried to avoid that nasty personal tone. Uh, occasionally all of us go a bit over the top and whenever I've been responsible for uh, saying what I shouldn't have said, I think I've always tried to do the decent thing and apologise.